calf a calf is supposed to take a quarter a kilogram a kilo it can eat it for 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 like for like four days because the calorific value in it is worth a basin of grass so if it can eat a quarter then you supplement it with other other pastures which you could feed it and a quarter would mean that a kilogram it is eating it for 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 four days Eh, so if it is eating it for four days, then and you are supposed to feed on it for 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 for, for three months, you can't go wrong. The company is called Jumo Agrotech Services Limited. We entirely work on feeds. Feed is for cows. Feed is for rabbits and for dairy cows okay we shall later extend the chicken and other and other and other um, domestic uh, birds and animals but our principal focus was on, on, on calf feeds our research was hinged on uh, the challenge which we have here people have very good breeds of cows the Persian, they have the jersey, they have all sorts of best breeds we have with them. But the challenge has been people here get less milk from Frasian cows and Jersey cows compared to Kenyans and South Africans if we are to consider Africa alone. And yet we have the best pastures, we have the best climate and the best water sources. So we came in as, the, as researchers to look at the cause of that. We found that the, the challenge is on the calf feeding. Because our people have pastures, they think they offer enough to a, to, a, to a calf for it to become a milker. Yet, these animals, which they call hybrids, are a science in the making. Science is by formula, not by gamble. It has to be a formula applied and known for it to give you what you are looking for. Now, our people don't know that these frisians were formulated in making. A certain researcher sat in a laboratory and added genes. Genes are accompanied by nutritional benefits to come up with something one would call a product. Now, if it is a calculation, someone to come up with a, a, a 20 or 30 milk yield cow, there are additives he added or she added to come up to that. Now, for someone to come up with such a thing, you need to come in the lane of those formulas. Failure to do that, you will never achieve it. Now, for example, people here would want to, to have better milk yielding cows. So they would look at, uh, they would hear and ask us as extension officers and say, but we hear people milk like 20, 30, 40 liters in a cow every day. What do they feed that I don't have? That would be a question given to an extension officer. So one would say, now go for AI. People say, okay, bring me the AI. The artificial insemination is what I mean. They would inseminate his cow or her cow. And good enough, it produces a, a, a calf, a female calf, which has all the characteristics required to become a milk of, 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 of 30 liters. But the formula of developing into that begins in the first 10 days up to the three months. On the third month end, that is when the mammary system is fully developed. Now this person gets the best calf, grabs the pasture from the feed trough of the mother, ties it for the calf. And even in African setting, eating one food is not called eating. In Vanyankola and Vachiga in Western Uganda and, and Vatoro, they call it kunyata. Because they are eating one type of food. So if it is a child of a human being, and you say, I'm nurturing this child by kunyata, feeding it on one type of food, you will never have the child. The child may not die, but still, we'll never attain the best of, of, of him or her. Now, it is a similar thing with these cows. 
when you have the best calf and you feed it entirely on one type of pasture because it is what you are feeding the mother this thing does not develop the mammary system properly because the mammary structures are by balanced diet so that was the basis of our research actually to come up with this product here so we make these pastures in stages as you have seen in those in those those those, those captives the, 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 the pictures of the camera so we have the best pastures they, we mix the pastures with legumes we dry them in a dryer a dryer flake covered with vis visqueen sun selectors then we put it in a hammer miller then we come up with a powder which is a mixture in correct ratios of pastures and legumes then that mixture is mixed with other energy giving foods like whole grain maize like um like soya as a source of protein and oils and vitamins then we add in salt for appetizing and mineral sauce then in second mixing we mix uh with avocado then potato vines extract and cassava oil for binding and energy giving at the same time so all those essentials we are tested we work in collaboration with Macquarie university where we test all of these raw materials and we come up with the correct formulas to apply in mixing them particularly to meet the interest of our farmers then we formulate them and make these pellets this pellet is a very precious food at the moment at factory price we are selling it at 3000 but i want to assure you as a farmer looking at, at me that this is a product you can give to your cow and you get the best of it and if it was to be rabbits, then you can get the correct weight of the rabbit. And you can even help it breastfeed its young ones and have them healthy look. So entirely that was uh, the focus of the research. We sell them at 3,000 and uh, we, we, we can produce whatever quantity depending on the, on the demand. Because we began with the past establishment. We have estates of pastures we have now the correct machines and we have the know-how and a, a, a motivated workforce so i think we can do the best to develop our society and work and alleviate poverty a calf a calf is supposed to take a quarter a kilogram a kilo it can eat it for 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 like for like four days because the calorific value in it is worth a basin of grass so if it can eat a quarter then you supplement it with other uh, other pastures which you could feed it and a quarter would mean that uh, a kilogram it is eating it for 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 four days uh, so if it is eating it for four days then and you are supposed to feed on it for 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 for, for three months you can't go wrong uh, because it is a cause to come up with the right thing a poor farmer, I, I don't think, needs to go all that scientific. Make sure that you also come up to, to a level of where, where, where these men are, or these women whom you don't call poor. Because we were born all naked. But we are different because of perceptions and the use of head. <laughs> so I, I hate that word. Me, the, people, the, the poor people. Why are you poor when we were all born naked? Yes. Get closer to the rich men so that you can also get rich. If other people without what we have here can make money, how about for us who have the best pastures? Mm. It is very much cost effective if one goes into this supplementary feeding. Mm. The pastures we are using um, Penicum Maximum, we have Penicum Giant, we have uh, Bricaria, Bricaria we have the like, three types Bricaria, Mulatto one mulatto two mulatto three and then we have sugar napiers uh, we have uh, pak chong napiers yeah we have a variety of pastures with us mm. which we mix to make the thing balanced the last advice to our farmers is you people let's go science because what we are engaged in in rearing hybrids you need to lean against science failure to lean against science when you are in a scientific world then you will be left out 
So let us use research of universities, please. You farming community, get use of academicians in universities. You will solve very many problems. Yes. So if you could come at our project here, because here, whatever we do here, is hinging on research and laboratories of Makere University in Uganda. And uh, most, most brilliant men and women are busy trying to solve the problems of farmers. So this is one of the uh, tentacles of the university where we, we tend to bring knowledge down to the grassroots. So that people may get to know that uh, learning has much to do with poverty alleviation. Mm. Mm, part of them in some way.